doing? We have no mirror out here. How does this look? Do I look truly a mess? Is everything all bunched? Oh, wait. That doesn't look so bad. How you doing? How you doing? Ow! How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. How you doing? No. How you doing? How you doing? Uh. <laughs> Are you wearing a strip of lashes for the Miss Wendy show? <laughs> I didn't know whether you had something to say with him. I was here for moral support, but I wore a cute outfit just for you and I wanted to. Oh, yes. Oh, I see. Some leopard cute. Red. Okay. <laughs> Do the music you pose. Go. But there's nothing wrong with a little how you do it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. And shout out to everybody on lockdown. <laughs> how you do it? I love it. Now will I always be on TV, right? Yes. So then that way I can say, how you doing? How you the doing? other way. Oh. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> Every girl has their flaws. And you know, I make no secret about mine and, and will continue to do it. People need to be less judgmental. What? I agree. <laughs> I've been watching your show and I think you look like Jessica Rabbit with this fantastic body. Thank you, thank I you. Mean, hasn't she got a great body? So cool. Thank yes. you, thank you so much. It's a lot of maintenance. <laughs> who's that girl? And who's that girl? I'm not a man. Although I've been accused. How you doing? Tristan, who's head of wendyshow.com, just told me he's a killing me on Facebook and Twitter. Guess what? <laughs> Keep it coming, baby! <laughs> But there she is. I just thought that you would appreciate the messiness that is me. But if you want me to be a polished talk show host, then I will. But then it wouldn't be the Wendy Williams show, right? I'm so excited. you couldn't tell I'm Dolly and I must say in a weird kind of crazy way I've never felt more beautiful today like, I... I'm sorry you were distracting me so much you got the, the cigarette and the lipstick and oh, you are a mess <laughs> You know, he went out to the nightclub here in New York and he had a gun in his pocket. Well, you know how the club gets. You're dipping it and doing it. Next thing you go, pow! <laughs> but that did oh, didn't happen like that. <laughs> it did the... too, in my mind. <laughs> Drop down. And get your eagle on, girl. And just go up. <laughs> and now, so you pull his abdominals Ooh. in. Now, we're gonna get some, we're gonna get some ab work. Come on, you can do three. Yeah. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Eight reps. These are so tight. bad, you just have to make sure you don't use a chair with wheels. Drop lower. <laughs> <laughs> Jaquil Knight, everybody, is the choreographer for Beyonce's multi-platinum award-winning single, Single Ladies. <laughs> and he's responsible for the signature moves that have started a major dance craze for millions of people, including every single day here, our oh. studio audience turns it. I've seen it, I've seen it, it mm-hmm. <laughs> She came in with a cane okay. and then ended up dancing. <laughs> SNS, though, puts on single ladies hey. and then people just do it. And I just love that people feel comfortable enough it's fun. to come to Wendy and just turn it. It's fun. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, of course. Those are all your teeth? They're beautiful. Uh, they're, <laughs> they're all mine right now. <laughs> Do you mind if we close up on your mouth? <laughs> I love that 
that's it. I'm going home. <laughs> Just what a fat girl wants to wear, a tutu. I do, too. <laughs> and she's also wearing a little purse on her collar where you can stash house oh. keys, a couple bucks. Just what again, you need, a bag. snack. Right, a snack. <laughs> you need a snack with good TV, don't you? You know I love my food. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I made dinner for my family on, on Saturday. There's a Roy Rogers at a rest stop on the, on the New Jersey Turnpike. I made the sides, but I got the chicken from there, so. <laughs> Why doesn't your mouth water when you cook? <laughs> tell me how it is, Wendy. I mean, I, I, I trust you to tell me, because you know food. I'm taking this home also. Okay. We're not gonna have rest stop <laughs> chicken tonight. You've had so many birthdays, but Wendy. Excuse the one... me, Mommy. <laughs> yes, one of the things that you said you wanted for your birthday, What's a two-seater bicycle? <laughs> I wanted one for Mother's Day. Everybody thought I was crazy. It came and went and left. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Courtney, Kim, Kendall, and what's the other little sister's name? Kylie. Okay, there's four. Then the black girlfriend from the from this show. What's her name? They never say her name. She's just the the. You like her? I like her too. <laughs> My Leica? No, me Leica, your highlights. <laughs> Look at your hair. I was reading the National Enquirer yesterday, and I'm just reading and a reading and a reading and a reading, and I see my name. And I'm like, oh, what does this say? <laughs> and already I'm thinking it's something good because I've dreamt. I've dreamt of this all my life, and I know that along with having a show comes, you know, scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutt's good, sometimes. It says, Wendy Williams went whoop ass on staffers at her new talk show when she ended up looking like a doofus after gushing on camera to guest Andy Dick that she loved watching him star on Suddenly Susan, the old sitcom with Brooke Shields. Okay, more, okay. Uh, you could practically see steam bursting out of her ears when public Andy told her he'd never appeared on Susan. Wendy kept her cool and laughed it off, but immediately after the show wrapped, she ripped into her producers for researching wrong information. Wendy screamed, look, he's got my quote. <laughs> it says, don't ever do that to me again. You made me look like a fool, and there would better not be a next time. <laughs> Is that what I said? Is that what all happened? I think not. Now, I know that our Liza Persky produced that segment. Liza, are you there? I'm here, I'm right over here. Hi. <laughs> I was, first of all, I was right. He forgot that he was in an episode. <laughs> right? Seriously, no, you were absolutely right. It's nothing but love here and you never said a word. So take that, Andy Dick. <laughs> this means I've arrived, kind of. These are Zenodis. These I know are you love Giuseppe's. your Giuseppe's. I love them, I do. No, those are $925. Oh. Those are available at Saks. Where do you get your shoes? Okay. Well, I What size are you? What I wear size, size 11. Okay, I'm a 12 and a half. And, well, see, excuse me! What? Are those the new hot boots? Yes, did you feel me just lean on you? Yeah. I, was, I was about to tilt. We suffer for our fashion. That's all right, I'll hold you. Nice. Baby. This is what I love about you. Whenever I see you anywhere, <laughs> I'm... You were naked in the movie. Can we show that picture? To the picture! <laughs> All this right here with me. Yes! yes. <laughs> At the end of the show, one lucky audience member will be singled out and awarded this special prize. Okay? The eye candy of the day goes to Denise McCarthy! <laughs> we want to look at you head to toe. You, I love your style. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Denise. <laughs> she could have stayed over here. You're quirky and kooky. Crazy. And crazy. <laughs> and I mean that in a good way. <laughs> but there's a whole other side to Mary Murphy. She survived an abusive marriage, a, hor a horrifying marriage. And some. You know, his friend said, would you be willing to talk about it now? You could help a lot of people. And I said, yeah, I think I could talk about it. 
you know, because it is really, you have to come, you know, um, at your own time. Mm -hmm. when you're ready mm -hmm. to talk about such things and because it is really difficult. I've been wearing pool hats like since as long as I can remember. That's me actually in the pool. Um, they didn't want the rest of it because I, I wear a string bikini when I get real comfortable. <laughs> we haven't talked about the very, very hot Shia LaBeouf in a moment. Don't you love him? Shia is 23 years old. Oops. And um, <laughs> so young, so tender. <laughs> Another car ran a red light and hit him. It wasn't his fault, he was not charged, but you know what, he lost his fingers. I wonder on which hand. <laughs> There's a rumor that you and Ashley Tisdale from High School Musical, no. at one point... She looks cute, Dad. Yeah, she, oh, no. No, oh. I mean, she always looks cute, but yes. that was an extra cute picture. Yes. No, me and Ashley, we're friends. <laughs> She holds the title of, title of Best Bagger in New York after winning a statewide supermarket bagging competition this past November. I'm going to give our caller a run from her money and uh, challenge her in this bagging competition. So are you ready for this? Do you think you can handle this? Can you handle it? <laughs> Please don't be mean. Say it like you're mean. <laughs> So number two, if I were at a bar and you noticed me, what would you do to get my attention? Uh, I'd probably walk right up to you, um, take the drink out of your hand, oh. and oh. drink it. <laughs> okay. Are you serious? That's me. <laughs> in look but it's a good prop <laughs> do you remember what you were doing 25 years ago I was um, a, a early 20 something yeah I'm you like know, 25 do you remember when... <laughs> how you doing <laughs> I was just wondering how big of a Michael Jackson fan you were and if so what's your favorite song butterfly absolutely or was it butterflies I like all the Michael music on that tempo right there, too. I like Billie Jean. Yes, I like yes. the bass line on it a lot. Yes. Do you remember when people were saying that he really did have a baby out there with a girl named Billie Jean? That was a good one. I was actually not alive yet, but... <laughs> Damn kids. <laughs> Jessica Simpson, yes, who went, who's, who was romantically involved with Tony Romo, who then was romantically at one point involved in his life with Trisha Yearwood, Oh, excuse me, Carrie Underwood. Oh gosh, the blonde white girls. Don't, don't, be, don't be mad at me, blonde white girls. I told you, I've been mistaken for Donna Summer and Venus Williams. Jennifer Aniston, who in true form is linked with no one. <laughs> at wendyshow.com, we were asking people, do they want to see you fry a mini diva fan? A pair of shoes or one of my wigs? <laughs> the results are 74% of you want to see a wig fried. Oh. Mm -hmm. Isn't this good? Oh, you guys. Oh. What does it smell like in here? <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Ooh. How long does the wig have to stay before it's done? Don't need to give it very long at all because it's. Uh... There we go. Wow. A little, a little sloppy, but, but here, here we is, America. <laughs>